Hi, my name is Lilika, welcome to Cambridge at Home. And in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the A-level computer science syllabus. So this syllabus is valid through 2021 to 2023. And in this video, we're basically just gonna be looking at exactly what you need to know as Cambridge specifies by the syllabus to be able to pass the A-level examinations. So if you're here from the AS level video, then you'll know that firstly, we're just gonna look at the content overview. So this is the, the actual theory you need to know to be able to pass the examination. Then we're gonna look at the assessment overview. So the papers that you're writing, and then we'll look at the assessment objectives uh, and the weighting of those assessment objectives, which we'll get into um, lastly, like in the last bit of the video. As always, the blog version of this YouTube video will be linked in the description as well as the actual syllabus if you want to follow along or just have a look so please do check that out so as opposed to the ASL video which are where I went over the content first I feel like I should go over the two routes you can take for computer science first in this video specifically because A levels are an extension of AS so what do I mean by that okay so essentially there are two routes you can take for um, for computer science for Cambridge the first one is your A level which is staged over two years. So in year one, you'll do all the AS level content. So you'll be writing paper one and paper two, which I did cover in the AS level video. Go check that out if you're confused. Um, and then in year two, you will do paper three and paper four, which is just the A level content. A thing to notice is that your AS level marks will kind of carry over and affect your A level marks. And in the end, you will have an A level qualification, which is the AS level content plus some extra A-level stuff. Then the second option for A-levels is basically just the straight A-level option. So um, essentially you'll be writing paper one, two, three, and four in the exact same exam series. This is obviously, I would say a tougher option, um, but also for some people that just makes more sense because you can kind of study everything at once and then write it off in one exam series instead of staging it over two years. It's really up to you which one you want to go for. Okay, let's go over the content overview for A-levels. So the content overview starts at the 13th thing you need to know because as if you watch the A-level video, you'll know that that went through the first to the 12th thing that you need to know. So the 13th thing you need to know um, in the A-level stuff is basically uh, data representation. So this is more programming stuff. This is user-defined data types, file organization and access, floating point numbers, representation and manipulation. Number 14 is communication and internet technologies. So this will be protocols like, you know, the internet pro protocol, your IP address, uh, HTTPS, for example, stuff like that. Um, and then you'll learn about circuit switching versus packet switching. Um, which is faster, stuff like that. Number 15 is hardware and virtual machines, which is pretty cool. So you'll be learning about processor, parallel processing and virtual machines. VMs are pretty cool. Then also for 15, you'll be learning about Boolean algebra and logic circuits. So this will be like the logic gates that you learned about in AS level, except a bit more intense. 16 is system software. So this will be again, OS operating stuff, um, purposes of an operating system um, and translation software. But um, again, more intense because it's A-level, not AS. To be clear, if you're watching this video before the AS level one, rather go watch the AS level video first and then come back to this one. The 17th thing you will be learning about is security. So encryption protocols and digital certificates which is all has to do with over the air communication. It's pretty cool. You'll be learning about that. The 18th thing is artificial intelligence or AI. You'll be learning about that. I don't know what the scope of that is, but that's pretty sick. Number 19 is computational thinking and problem solving. So this is algorithms and recursion. This has to do with programming. You'll be learning about that. And the 20th thing is further programming. So you'll be learning about programming paradigms and also file processing and exception handling. So more programming stuff, but more advanced because again, this is A-level, not AS. Okay, so assessment overview. These are the papers you will be writing for A-levels. So the first one is paper three, which is advanced theory. This paper will be an hour and a half long and it'll count out of 75 marks. Paper three will assess sections 13 to 20 of the syllabus content. This exam will be written on paper. So with a pen on a physical piece of paper and it'll count for 25% of your A-level because again, for A-level, you're writing four papers. So it'll be a quarter of that, you know? That's, yeah. The fourth paper you'll be writing is the practical. So this is programming once again, two and a half hours long, 75 marks. Paper four will assess uh, sections 19 to 20 of the syllabus content, except for the low level and declarative programming. 
there's that. You will be required to complete uh, or submit complete programming code and evidence of testing. So this will not be written on paper. You will be required to use either Java, VB.net or Python as your programming language for this paper. You will answer all of your questions on a computer without internet or email facility just to make sure you're not cheating. So this is a programming exam. You'll be on a computer actually programming. You'll have to, you know, give evidence that you actually tested your code and that it'll actually mark you on how well your code runs and actually answers the question that you're given. Again, this will count for 25% of your A-level mark because there are four papers and it counts for once. It's a quarter, makes sense. Okay, let's look at some of the assessment objectives. I feel like these are just worth mentioning because it's in the syllabus. So we've got objective A01. So this is to demonstrate knowledge and understanding of the principles and concepts of computer science, including abstraction, logic, algorithms and data representation makes sense AO2 so this is objective 2 is to apply knowledge and understanding of the principles and concepts of computer science including to analyze problems in compute in computational terms makes sense next we've got AO3 or the third objective uh, this is to design program and evaluate computer systems to solve problems making reasoned judgments about these so there's that. So essentially those three objectives is what you're going to be marked on in your paper. That's what the examinator is going to have in mind. Well, not the examinator, whoever's marking your paper is going to have in mind as they are marking your paper. So for example, to kind of explain what I'm saying, the first objective, um, A01, in AS level, it'll count for 30% of your mark. And in A level, it'll count for 30% of your mark. So the same. The second objective will count for 40% of your of your mark. So it, it, this is the weighting, right? How much it'll it'll matter in each paper. Objective two will count for 40% of your mark on AS level and 30% of your mark on A level. And objective three will count for 30% on AS level and 40% on A level. So for, of each component, this is the weighting. So objective one in paper one, will count for 60% of your mark and will, in paper three will count for 16% of your mark. Objective two in paper one will count for 40%, in paper two will count for 40%, and in paper three will count for 40%. And objective three will count for 60% in paper two and 100% in paper four. So it's fully just about objective three in paper four, that further programming uh, paper. So yeah, I hope that made sense. That's the A-level computer science syllabus. I hope this kind of excites you a bit if you're taking A-level computer science as a subject. Um, and or maybe you know you're trying to figure out whether you want to take it as a subject and just want to see what it's all about i hope this was informative to you again as always the blog is in the description do check that out as well as the syllabus the link to the actual syllabus that i got this information from but yeah thank you so much for watching this video i'll catch you in the next one and good luck on your studying journey